Hello, this is Robert Pogson with uh, part 7 of Fun with Debian. Uh, today we're going to install a groupware suite. Um, Citadel is a package that has been around since the 1980s as a bulletin board system. Um, in the days before the World Wide Web. Uh, in 1998 it was updated to work on the web uh, with a browser and uh, it's a fairly uh, mature system that works very well. Uh, it's very easy to install. So app get install in Debian Citadel hyphen suite brings in all the commonly used packages. And that last one, Citadel WebSit, is the web interface. So that will do what we want. And um, listen on all addresses is an easy choice. You can uh, program it to listen on just a single address. Uh, authentication. You can choose the host, um, so the normal Linux user accounts will apply, or LDAP, or Active Directory, or just the internal accounts, and that's what I'll choose here. Um, our default administrator is uh, admin. We could change that if we wanted, but we'll just leave it as admin. Give admin a password. And you can choose the Apache 2 web server or the internal web server. So we don't have to configure an external uh, web server if we just use the internal one. So there we go. Port 80 is the normal uh, web serving port. And 443 is the uh, secure uh, web server port. We can choose the English language. And we're setting it up. There it is. We, uh, we have it running. So now, and here is the web interface. Uh, we'll put in our username, admin, and our secret password. And there it is. Is that easy or what? And now you can do the admin configuration stuff. Um, this is the lobby of the Citadel. Citadel is a big building, a fortress or something. The lobby is uh, the uh, place you start out from. Uh, we can click on rooms and you can see there's a lobby and there's nothing but a trash can in the lobby. There's the main floor. And uh, we have a mailbox. We got mail, a calendar, uh, contacts, uh, notes, tasks, rooms, who's online. There's a chat system. Uh, you've got user configuration and then the administration configuration of the site. Uh, let's do some configuration. We could. Um, add a floor, say. So we got uh, main floor, and for now that's probably good enough. So we'll just uh, skip that. Uh, we can add a new user. Let's add uh, Pogson. And there's Pogson. We can give Pogson a password. We can let him do internet email. You might have to set up your routing or firewall or get permission from your ISP. You might have to change your DNS. There's different things for doing internet email that you might need. But to just work on the LAN, the system as it is will, will work. And Pogson is a network user. That's a normal user. You could have a preferred user, and you could have an aide. An aide can do administration stuff, so we'll just leave that as aide. And um, let me 
have it. Calendar. Let's click on calendar. So today is the tenth day of. Let's look at the room. So we've got a lobby on the main floor. We want to add a room. So to do that, we go to advanced, edit or delete this room, create a new room. So let's create the firearms room or the hunter's room or something on the main floor. If it's a bulletin board type thing, create new room. Uh, access controls. Users below have access to this room. So everybody can access the room. Good. Uh, remote retrieval, configuration. Uh, resides on the main floor. It's public. Okay. Preferred users only. Read only room. So then one person can enter the messages and everybody else can read it. So we're good. So let's check rooms again. So now we got a firearms room and a lobby. Okay, so let's log off and we can become pods and, and explore the room. Uh, now there's something we can configure more. We can set a banner in there, uh, a logo or something. Uh, there's the path to it at Citadel Messages Goodbye. And okay. So we're going to be Pogson and we we'll log in. There we have it. And let's check out rooms. We can see the firearms room. So we click on firearms and there's no message, so we can post a message. Uh, hunting. I want to go hunting on Saturday. Let's say that. Okay. Um, we could add a list. There's a little formatting thing. Uh, firearm, ammunition, food, transport. Okay. So there's some kind of message. Um, in the lobby, there's this message here. Can we delete that? We can because we're an aid, I guess. So we click OK. So we can enter a message there. We could put in a welcome message. Eh? Welcome to Citadel. Citadel Groupware Suite. Okay, so we just add that uh, post message. So we've got those messages. We can log off. And we can be another user, admin in this case. And there's our, our message in the lobby. And uh, we can skip this room. Go to page one and skip this room. So now we're in the calendar room thing. If we go to rooms, we've got lobby, we got firearms. Go to firearms. There's the message there. So we have a lot of capability here, and it was very easily achieved. Just took a couple of minutes to install. Um, this is a fun thing. It's great for a family. Uh, even an individual could kind of organize his life using this. Um, uh, a school, small organization, small business. This is fine. Uh, I got interested in Citadel when I was reading that uh, Largo, Florida, 
which is, has a first-rate information technology system, is paying $25,000 per year for evolution, a male client, and uh, a groupware solution from Novell, $25,000 per year for support for their system, and they're not happy with it. And I can be happy with a simple little thing like this, and it costs nothing. And does the same sorts of things. It's not as fancy, doesn't have as many features, but it has the basics and that's what a lot of people need. So enjoy, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye.